Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a pattern from Photoshop and bring it in to Illustrator so you can use it in Illustrator as well. So currently, I've created a simple pattern here in Photoshop. Turn on our pattern preview mode. We can see our simple repeating pattern here. Go ahead and turn that off. And one thing you'll note here is these are all shape layers. And so that's the closest Photoshop gets to a vector layer is a shape layer. So, and you'll know that a layer is a shape layer by this symbol here. So I have these repeated, it's all set up. And so now I'm going to go ahead and save this file. So I'm going to go to file, save as give it a name flower pattern i'll click on on my computer here and then under file format we are going to use this photoshop eps file type and then i'm going to click on save here here it has include vector data selected and i'm just going to click on ok and now we are going to go in to illustrator and we are going to open this file so i'm going to go to file open just navigate to your folder, select your file that you save, flowerpattern.eps, and then I'm just going to click on open. So here is what we see when we do that. So if I click on here, we have all of our shape objects here, and then it also has this like weird bounding rectangle, and I'm not I'm not really quite sure how to get rid of that, but we are going to do a little clean up here in this file um, to get it to look like what we want it to in Adobe Illustrator. And so if you look at the layers here, we'll click in here, we'll click into our group, and then we'll notice that each um, object is in its own little clipped group here. And then there are three components. We, if we click on this bottom one here, that is our vector layer here and it's a no fill, no stroke. And then if we click on this layer here, it's, and then say we turn off the visibility, basically it, that layer is what's giving us the color for this layer. And then if we click on this layer here, we have that weird bounding rectangle here. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna click on this vector, the vector layer data here that has our no fill no strike and we're going to give it a color so i'm going to use the eyedropper tool eye on the keyboard just click that blue and then it will fill in that color and then i am just going to select those other two layers and i am just going to delete them because we don't need them so we'll do the same thing here we have our eyedropper tool still selected we'll click there and then we'll click on these two layers make sure there's selected here and we will delete them and then I'm just going to go through each of these ones here and I'm just going to quickly select our color layer delete it so this method isn't perfect bringing it into Photoshop but if you worked on a pattern in um, Adobe Photoshop and you want to use it in um, Adobe Illustrator as a vector file, um, you can do so. Um, and this is one of the methods you can do to um, use it here. So we'll just keep cleaning this up a little bit here. We have our eyedropper tool we'll select it there. Delete this layer and we have a few more to go here. Selecting those two layers and deleting them. Okay, and we have one more to go. Here at the bottom, we see this layer here and this one shows us the kind of the bounding area of that. I'm going to go over to our properties and we can see that the width and height of this 
is um, 288 by 288. So let's go ahead and create a rectangle that size. I'm going to use my rectangle tool here. Real quick, we have our 288 by 288. And then I'm just gonna select all of that and we are going to align it together. We'll align it both uh, vertically and horizontally here. We're gonna go to Object, Arrange, Send to Back. Now it's behind everything here. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that extra item there. We'll click on this rectangle. We are gonna turn this into a no fill, no stroke rectangle because we are going to save a swatch. So I'm just gonna highlight everything there. We'll drag it into our swatch panel, zooming out. Let's try and create a, maybe just a ellipse tool here, a bigger circle so we can see our repeat. And we can see that we have saved the swatch of our pattern here. So we'll go ahead and delete that there. And then I'm gonna size it to my artboard here. So if I select everything here and I go to properties and I try to size it to the size of my canvas, which happens to be 600 by 600, what we see is that it sizes it according to the edge of our elements but some of those but that extra is outside of the actual swatch so instead i'm going to undo that command Control z and so i need to create a clipping mask first so i'm going to go to my layers here we have our no fill stroke rectangle here i'm just going to copy this command or control c i'm going to paste it in front command or control f and then we are just going to bring that to the front. So we'll go to object, arrange, bring to front. We can see our rectangle here. I'm just going to go ahead and give it a color. Okay. And then we will select all of this here. We'll go to object. And this time I am going to create a clipping mask. So click on clipping mask, make. And so now we can size this together. So if we click on our properties, I can click on my width and height and do 600 pixels by 600 pixels. And now we can align this. So I'm gonna click on this align to artboard. We'll center it both vertically and horizontally there. And so now um, I, I've aligned it to my artboard. If I, and so now I have the option if I want to release that clipping mask I can, and I have my elements still intact if I decide that I want to uh, make any changes or move them around, I can still do that. So I just want to show you this as one option. If you have a pattern that you've created in Photoshop that are made out of shape layers, you can bring it in to Adobe Illustrator here and work with it by saving it as that Photoshop EPS file. It's not a perfect uh, system because we did have to do a little bit of cleanup to our file um, but I did want to show you that you do have this option if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab see you next time